What's going on? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. And I am on my lunch. And I want to come in here and talk to you guys today, share some information with you guys. Um, just something that was on my mind and on my heart. Uh, because today is my father's birthday. Um, I think he would have been 64. No, no, 65 today. I, I'm trying to remember that he was born in 55. So, yeah, I want to say it's like 65 today, or whatever the case, right? And, um, you know, I just wanted to come here and share something with you guys that was on my mind because I think that, like, as parents, you know what I'm saying, we really got to start thinking different, um, you know, especially for our children, man, because if we look at our society today, you know, teaching them the same old things just ain't going to help them out, you know what I'm saying, because so many things have changed. So we're going to let Facebook come on board, man, bring some people on, and then I'm going to talk to you guys for a quick little moment here, and then we're going to do what we do. I'll do what we do. I hope everyone is having a great day. I'm sending out some advice right now. Seeing what everybody, seeing what everybody is up to. Cool, cool. So yeah, I'm just out here in this little parking lot. I like being here because the sun ain't beating down on me. Nice little breeze under here. So, <laughs> but anyways, man, I wanted to come on here and share this message with you guys because, you know, as parents, we always say that we want to give our children a better life than what we had when we were growing up. And I know that, you know, we have great intentions as parents when it comes to that, you know, that's the reason why we work so hard and we grind to keep a roof over their head and clothes on their back and food on the table. Um, I totally understand that. But the thing is that we don't think outside the box a little bit because if we want to give them a better life, right, a better life than what we had, then why are we still teaching them the same old principles that we were taught when we were coming up, okay? Now, the reason why I say that is no disrespect to our parents and what they strive for, okay? Because I wouldn't be the man that I am today without my parents, my dad, you know, my mom, uh, and, and, you know, teaching me things that would make me a survivor in life, okay? But what I'm saying is that those same old principles, you know, I sat back, you know, years watching my dad slave at a factory for years, you know, trying to provide. And as he was providing, you know, he was struggling. You know, he was the, the main provider in our family. Um, but he was working hours and hours and hours. When they called him for overtime, he would go and get it because he needed extra money for the family to be able to provide. And it was some days, man, I would see my dad just break down because he was just so exhausted. You know what I'm saying? Just so exhausted. I remember the one night, I watched my dad so frustrated because so many things that hit us financially that he just kind of felt like he, he was falling short. And I, for the first time, I saw that man cry. Like, like literally, I saw my pops, like, break down and cry. And my dad, if anybody know my dad from, you know, back in the days, he was one of the toughest guys you would ever meet. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he was a no-games type of person, work hard, you know, things like that. But to see him break down because he was feeling like he was falling short for his family, like that's something that really opened up, you know, opened up my eyes even when I was young. But, you know, I, I learned some things from my pops that I took into becoming a man. But then when I got older, I started seeing that I was following the same trends, like I was going down the same path. So I was working jobs and making money, but always falling short. You know, the bills would get paid and things like that, but then I couldn't do anything else for my family because I was literally working to pay the bills. I was just working to keep a roof over their head and food on the table. And I had convinced myself that that was good enough. Like they had just enough. But you know, when I sat around and watched my kids ask me for things, you know, t going to Disney and stuff like that. And I I'm looking at what I'm doing and, and looking at the bank account and I'm like, man, I, you know, hopefully one day, you know, when we're in the lottery, we'll be able to go, you know, and I see my wife looking at houses and hoping and wishing and dreaming that we could get into a bigger house. But then I looked at my bank account and I'm like, man, like I'm working all these hours. I'm putting in all of this work, but damn, I can't even, I can't even like fulfill her dreams because of the, you know what I'm saying? The lack of money that I was making or whatever the case. And I, I literally guys, I had to like really wake up because that's what really woke me up. And I was like, there's gotta be something different. 
There's got to be something different. You know what I'm saying? And as a parent, you know, when I look at my kids, my kids, they look up to you. They they follow everything that you do. So if we really want them to have a better life than what we have, we have to become better. We have to do something different. We have to be able to provide them with the tools and the resources that is going to get them ready for what's to come. Because if we look at our society today, guys, so many things have changed from years ago when we were children, from the time when our parents were children, so many things have changed. And we have to learn to adapt and overcome those challenges. And we're never gonna be able to overcome the, the new challenges that come living on old principles. And why do I say that? Well, when I was coming up, my dad, I, like I said, my dad was a worker. So he was teaching me to work hard, go to work, work hard, make your money, save, save what you can, make sure the bill's taken care of, and that's great. And, and I'm truly thankful for that. But when I started getting older and I started seeing that that just wasn't enough, I was like, what can I do different? And that's when I started going down the path, searching for opportunities, looking for other ways for me to generate an additional income, possibly, you know, trade my, 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 my job in for something so I could have more time, more financial freedom. You know, I really went on a search. It wasn't easy in the beginning because like I struggled, I didn't understand it because these are things that were never taught to me. You know what I'm saying? When I was coming up, we didn't understand the money game. It was all about making your money and saving as much as you can. We never were taught about investing so that way our money could be working for us. You know what I'm saying? We just never were taught about getting out here and, and building our own business. Like we were never taught about those. We were just taught to go and get a job and work your job and, and, and be a hard worker. That's really what I was taught. But then I, now I look at it and I'm like, no, I don't want my children to have to feel like that's the only thing that they can do in life is to be just a hard worker at a job for somebody else, building their company, building their dreams, doing all of those things. So now I work hard. Now I'm, I'm learning more about finances. How can I teach my kids to start investing at an early age? How can I teach them the money game at an early age so when they get older, now they got a full understanding of how the wealthy been living for years and what they've been passing down to their children. Now I get a chance to do the same thing. I get a chance to talk with my kids and show them what daddy's doing and, and grind out and, and create that path for them to where they don't have to be worried about any of those things when they get older because they're going to already have that type of mindset. They're going to have that type of mindset. So like I say, guys, as parents, if we're going to say that we want our children to have a better life than what we had when we were growing up, we got to start doing something different. See, it's time for us to stop talking about it and we got to start taking action because saying it is just not enough anymore. Saying it's just not enough. And the thing is that tomorrow is not promised to any of us. So we can't wait till our money get right and do all of these things. We got to start making those things true today. We got to start working toward it today. We got to teach our kids that yes, you're going to have trials and tribulations while you're on this journey, but showing them how to stick through them, how to fight through them and stay to the plan, right? Stick, stick to the plan. That's what you want to do. Stick to the plan and keep pushing. That's how our children should be taught now. Because like I said, if we look at it now, all these jobs closing down, the government trying to take away as much as they can, taxing more money, all of these things, we can't put our kids out here being dependent on finding a good job. You know what I'm saying? You see a lot of these big companies transferring jobs overseas. They coming out with robots that do uh, the job of five people so that they can shut down paying humans and have a machine do the work. You know what I'm saying? Like you're starting to see all of these different things happening. So the fact that we're still trying to teach our kids to go to school, get good grades, go to college, get a degree, then get you a good job. Well, we just setting them up for failure. That's what the system been doing to us for many, many years. And the only way that your children are gonna thrive is to break away from the system. Go against the odds and teach your children the right way. All right, so with that being said, I want to just come on here and share that with y'all. I was just thinking about that, you know what I'm saying, with today being my father's birthday, 
And I was just thinking about him and just things that he has taught me over the years. And like I say, I'm truly thankful for my father for everything he instilled in me because that hard worker mentality is something that I can't get rid of. You know what I'm saying? I got a family and I will grind day in and day out to make sure my children and my wife are good. But now it's time for me to bring in new things that I'm learning from people that I've been around because one thing I learned is that going there can't tell been there how to get there, right? So being able to surround yourself with people who have already done this for their children, I'm learning how to do that because I want to be the best father that I can be to my babies, be the best husband that I can be with my, to my wife so that way when my time comes, they ain't never going to have to worry or want for anything. And that's the reason why I go so hard on these videos sharing this information is just to really get with people connect with people and let them know that there is a better way there is a better way and once again i'm not doing it for the grown people but i'm trying to set you up so that way you can set your babies up for life that's what it's about for me all right so with that being said guys thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you to the fullest and uh just stay tuned guys we've got a lot of great things coming along i'm truly excited truly humble for just everything that's transpiring and if you guys ever have any questions or whatever the case just feel free to hit me up i'll be happy to answer those for you okay so y'all have a great friday and i'm about to get back to work so i can finish up my day we'll holler at you soon